Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Cover. I decided today, I don't normally do this, but I decided today to take you inside the cover of a key issue, one that I got fairly recently. This is something I had back in the day when I was a kid, but I sold along the way, had to go and spend, you know, bigger bucks, obviously, today to get it once again, and I'm so happy I did. It's the debut of a legendary character, from Marvel Comics, Shang-Chi, the Master of Kung Fu. This is Marvel Special Edition number 15. So this is the second to last issue of Marvel Special Edition, with issue number 16 was the, the, the last one, and then they started the Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu comic, its own, his own title, with issue number 17. So they just kind of continued writing. So, of course, this is uh, the great cover art of Jim Starlin, who was the co-creator of this character surprisingly enough and then he left it very shortly thereafter right um, to have many folks work with the character over the years I think the one who kind of took the helm over the greatest from Jim Starlin was Paul Galassi and even Paul Galassi himself did not work on the title for that long but for those of us who are fans of the Shang-Chi character we know and treasure the Paul Galassi uh, issues quite a lot. I think he probably worked on maybe 20 or so, maybe a little bit more than that, something like that. Uh, those are really, really special to me. He kind of took um, what Jim Starlin started and with some influence from uh, Jim Steranko and kind of created this just larger-than-life artwork for this character, which I think really, really worked and was much missed. You know, there were other artists who worked on the book as well who were who did very, very well. But I think that the Galassi era, to me, is the best. But where it came from in the beginning, pretty special. So again, look at that great cover art. This book is in really good condition. Those colors just pop. Of course, you got the uh, Fu Manchu, his father, looming over the top as he is kind of battling his minions down below. And you'll see here, Steve Englehart, author, Jim Starlin, artist, Al Ming, Milgram, inker. That's key. You got Al and, and Jim working together on this. You got the first page there. Kind of sets the stage. All right, father and son, right? That's the whole storyline. Fu Manchu, a Mandarin, right? <laughs> got to remember that. Very important because, of course, in the, the MCU, they they called, uh, Shang, they, they did not use the Fu Manchu name for Shang-Chi's father. They just, he was the Mandarin. Right, which actually has a, you know, he is a Mandarin, right? But not the character of the Mandarin, although, like I said, the, the Marvel character of the Mandarin with the rings, right, who was a big foe of Iron Man, they kind of morphed him into this character, Fu Manchu, and instead of rings on the fingers, he had rings that he wore on his arms like armbands, and he wasn't really Fu Manchu, he wasn't really the Mandarin, he was kind of like a combination of the two, very strange. But anyway, so here in the beginning, we set the stage for uh, Shang-Chi is getting set to fight all these dudes who actually work for Fu Manchu. And you're kind of wondering, all right, they just threw us into this right off the bat. And then as the second page here kind of finishes, we get a little bit more of an intro and information on how Shang is the, or Shang-Chi is the uh, son of Fu Manchu. And then we're going to go do some backstory, right? So now we're going to go back in time to where Shang-Chi is raised by his father, okay, and his father is kind of throwing him this line of bull about how he's trying to better the world and blah, 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 and so then he, when Shang-Chi has finally gone through all of his teachings, he orders his son to go and murder this old man who is opposing Fu Manchu, and he's in his 90s. And, you know, Shang's kind of like, all right, well, this is my father, what my father wants me to do. And so he goes and does it. And then he gets confronted by, of course, a recurring character, Sir Dennis Nayland Smith, in the rest of the Shang-Chi storylines going forward. He is a head of a uh, British kind of like spy, uh, counter-spy unit. Very similar, this is all very similar to like James Bond and all that kind of stuff, right? So Sir Nayland Smith was best friends with the old gentleman who Shang-Chi just killed. And so then they get a discussion going, and, and Nayland Smith finds out that Shang-Chi is the son of Fu Manchu, and he starts to kind of clue him in on what Fu Manchu is all about and how he's been feeding his son a line of bull. So here goes 
explain the storyline. And again, if you're a fan of Jim Starlin's artwork, you're looking at this and you're like, oh, yeah, classic Jim Starlin. And then Nayland Smith shows him why he's in a wheelchair and he shows him his the status of his legs, who one of his henchmen uh, crushed. And it's this sumo guy in the front. We'll be seeing him shortly thereafter. So after he tells him all the story, Shang-Chi is like, you know, what has my father been feeding me? He goes, you know, my father did this to you. He did all this stuff. I need to go confront him. So Shang-Chi then goes to talk to his mother to get a little bit more backstory. And then we go back to the present. And here he is fighting the sumo guy. His name is Tak. So that battle, because now he's going after his father. After he's learned all of this, the battle commences. Awesome fight scenes here. Little Lad for Astonishing Tales, featuring It, the Colossus. Very cool issue if you don't have that. I think we've showed that here on the channel before. Uh, more cool action scenes. It's a tough fight, but eventually Shang-Chi bests him. And then as he's crawling through the castle to find his father, he gets, you see that little hairy leg there, he gets confronted by someone else he goes into the laboratories you see all this weird stuff he goes oh my god I, how could i have been so blind all this is going on he gets attacked by this giant uh sort of a gorilla creature another creation of his father right so he battles the gorilla creature and eventually wins that battle all right then he goes he finds his father confronts his father starts to, you know, kind of ask questions and whatnot. His father, you know, gives him all sorts of information, basically says that, uh, you know, well, he's like, I can no longer follow you, father. Um, and his father's like, okay, well, this starts a new chapter in our life now. We are opponents, that sort of thing. And from here, he becomes a marked man, right? So, and that leads into the uh, the next issue, Shang-Chi versus, um, what does it say? Shang-Chi means the rising and advancing of the spirit next midnight brings dark death and midnight actually is growing up his best friend also trained by fu manchu his dad and they of course have a collision course in the next issue and then that will be the last issue of marvel special edition leading into issue number 17 or issue number one of uh the hands of shang chi master of kung fu so very you know such a great series and so different from marvel at the time i always really appreciate it and uh you know this led of course to iron fist and you had those two martial arts characters and uh, that was kind of it where they went yeah it's you know you had white tiger and some other characters but for the most part these were the two guys that they marvel ran with as far as martial arts heroes and uh, i still think to this day uh the shang chi character is just really really awesome you know again based on bruce lee right totally based on Bruce Lee, but I think it really, really worked within the confines confines of the Marvel Universe. So yeah, that is my inside the cover today. Very, very cool. Like I said, it's, a, it's great artwork, great storyline. I always thought the writing on all these Master of Kung Fu's which is really, really good, very special, very dialogue heavy, dialogue and action, dialogue and action. That's what it was all about. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this down in the comments below. If you have it, if you haven't, you're going to want to want this. <laughs> you're going to want to have this, I should say. I know everybody wants it. I wanted it again, and I made it happen. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell to so get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the link to the Sea of Tranquility merch page where you can go get yourself a comic book user's t-shirt or a coffee mug. Thanks in advance for all your support there, and we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.